Hey guys, Christy here from Christy Velasquez Art. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon and I'm going to do the Dutch pour today or attempt to do a Dutch pour today. Um, I did try to do one, it was a couple weeks ago, um, using Artist Loft paints and these are level one wrapped, uh, gal uh, wrapped canvases. Um, these are eight by eight and I was trying to do like a diptych. Uh, I guess it would have, they would have kind of gone like this had it turned out. Um, but I didn't really, they didn't really turn out the way that I wanted them to. It doesn't have that flower look that uh, Renska gets in, in her paintings. These are still pretty cool. This one, I lost a lot of the paint um, because it was not level, so a lot of it fell off. So, you know, these are okay, but this really wasn't the look that I was going for. So we're going to try it again today. And instead of using Artist Loft paints, I have some new paints. I have the Windsor and Newton I'm not really sure how you say that. The Gallera, maybe? Gallera paints. Um, and this is what Rinsky uses. So I thought I would buy some. They were on sale at Michael's and give them a try and see if I get better results than what I did with the Artist Loft. Now, I mixed my paint, my paints a little bit different than what she does. She uses just water. Um, I use a little bit of pouring medium and water, but I'm going to show you how I mixed my paints for the today's pour. I did pre-mix a lot of colors, but I did not mix up the purple, and I thought I would first start by showing you how I mixed my paints, and then we'll get into doing a Dutch pour. All right, so I'm going to move the cam camera angle so you're facing the table, and I'll show you how to mix the paints, and then we'll start pouring. Okay, hey guys. Um, so here we are with um, the pre-mixed paints that I have already mixed up. So this is the white. That's actually not the Windsor and Newton um, Gallera, however you say it, paints. That is actually, it is the Liquitex Basics um, that I'm using for my white. And um, I've also mixed up... I've got a permanent magenta that I've mixed up, ultramarine, uh, cerulean blue hue, burnt umber, phthalo green, and I did mix up some cadmium yellow. So what I thought I would do is I'd mix up this, um, this Windsor Violet for you guys on camera so you could see how I mixed up all my paints. But as you can see, my paints are pretty thin. Um, these I did mix up last night, and so I think they thickened up on me a little bit, so I might have to add just a little bit of water to those to get them to thin down a bit. But let me show you here how I mix all of these paints um, here. Let me move those out of the way. All right, so you're gonna start by just putting, you know, probably about, I would say about one ounce of paint into the bottom here. So I put about that much in there um, from the side. That's probably maybe an ounce of paint. Okay. And then I come in here with my Liquitex pouring medium. And I just put in about um, just enough to kind of just cover the paint. So as you see, not a ton. As you look from the side, not, not a, you know, just a little bit. And then what I do is I mix that paint with the pouring medium really, really well. Mix that in together. And then I start adding my water. Now, you want to add your water just a little bit of a at a time. So I keep my water and my pouring medium in these squirt bottles. And that gives me control um, control over how much I add. Because you want to do just a little bit at a time. The thing about... Um, adding water is you can always add more, but once you add it, you can't take it back out. And then to thicken your paint up, if you have added too much water, um, it can be difficult to mix in, you know, if we had to add in more paint, it's, it can be difficult to mix in and, and you'll, you'll, you can end up getting clumps and things. So it's better to just take your time, add a little bit of water and just go a little bit at a time. So I put a little bit of water in and you're just going to stir, 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 stir. And this is still very, very thick, so um, I'm going to put in a nice bigger squirt of water in there. And what you'll see is you'll put the water in and the paint will feel thin, but you want to make sure you're scraping your sides and really mixing that water in with the paint so that you get a true feel for what the consistency is after you've added that water. You also want to make sure that you're scraping your whatever your tool is that you're stirring with on the side 
so that you're getting that paint mixed in with the water as well. So we're not, we're still pretty far from having the consistency that we're looking for. So I put some more water in and you just stir, stir, stir. So mixing paints like this, um, it is a lot of stirring. So when I was mixing, I mixed up one, two, seven colors yesterday. And I probably, it probably took me 30 or more minutes to mix all those up. And it, and it, you know, as you see, it's not a ton of paint I'm mixing up here, but it's just the amount of time of stirring you know, you want to, again, you want to keep scraping the sides of your cup to make sure you're incorporating all of that paint in the water. You see, this is still way too thick. Another thing I noticed with these paints is each one is a little bit different. Um, so some needed more water and some needed less water. So again, just keep stirring, scraping the sides. And then you want to come again, scrape off your stirring tool can pick that paint up, mix it in here. And you'll start to feel the paint get fluid. So you'll feel that it's not as thick in the cup. And you just wanna lift it up and that's still too thick. You see how it came off kind of in a blob. And I can also tell by mixing that it's still a little too, too thick in the cup. So we're gonna add some more water, keep stirring. You're just gonna do this until you get a nice runny consistency. I don't know if you can see that. So that's still a tiny bit too, too thick. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more water, stir that in. When you're mixing paints, you know, it's good to have music or something going to entertain yourself because you are here for a while mixing. Now let's check that out. All right, that is better. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the purple in my painting. I think I'm gonna use this blue. So let me check the consistency of this blue since it was sitting since yesterday and make sure that I don't need to add water to it. I do. So even though I mixed this up yesterday, it got a little thick on me overnight. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to try to get it to be the same consistency as the other colors like my purple that I'm using. Okay guys, let's do this. So we're gonna first start with the white. We're just gonna pour some on the canvas to cover the canvas. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna try doing exactly what um, Rinska does and she uses her blow dryer to push it around. So this is my um, handy dandy little blow dryer. I really like this one because it's um, small and it does it does have a pretty powerful uh, blower, so it does you know it it will blow um, air pretty good, um, and it has a couple settings. It has a cool, a low, and a high. Um, so I really like this little dryer. It's it's not as big as. Um, like a hair dryer I was using before. So this is a great little tool. I'll link, I will link it below in the description on Amazon if you want to purchase one. All right, so let's blow this uh, white paint around and then we will get to the rest of the painting. So that did not work as well as it does um, on her videos. I think maybe having my, um, this nozzle on it is making the air be hotter. So I'm gonna take this nozzle off and just use, um, use it without the nozzle like this. And we'll see if that gives me a better result. And I'm gonna pour a little bit more paint on here. I hope I made enough white. All right, now let's try this again. All 
Okay, that was a little better. So I'm just gonna come along here and I'm gonna touch up the sides with the white paint. Make sure that the sides get covered. Um, I did mix up a copper off camera to use. I like to have metallics in my paintings and I completely forgot um, to mix up a metallic. So I did mix up a copper off camera here. So we're gonna start with, this is the phthalo blue. And then let's add in some of this pink. I decided to also use this pink. Do a little bit of the pink here. We do a little bit of this brown. And we will do um, some of the copper, just a little bit of the copper. And this is Artist Loft, so it's, um, it's a different brand of paint than what uh, I'm using for the colors, which are the, the Windsor and Newton. And then let's do a little bit of this. So that's a lot of colors there. So let's... Um, Let's give that a try and see what we get. So we're gonna take our white and we're gonna go around. Is that something in my painting? We're gonna go pour the white around this circle that we made. And I have just enough white. I made just enough for this. So let me try to get some more of that white out there. Okay, all right. Now, she blows the white paint over the colors first and then blows them out. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing here with um, with my painting and we'll see how that works. And I'm actually gonna use the cool setting and see if that is enough power to do it. All right, now here we go. So, I think I had too much white around it. Um, I lost tons of my color. So, I'm going to put just a little bit more in here, and we're going to blow that around. Uh, my, my blow dryer might be too powerful, actually. So, that could be some of the problem here. But I'm just gonna give this another try. And we'll see how this works. I am gonna put just a tad bit of white around it like that. And we'll see how this goes. I mean, this is pretty and soft, but I wanted more color on it. So let's give it another go here. All right, so that's a little better. So what I'm gonna do now is maybe try to blow some of the paint with just just my mouth. I was thought about using a straw, but I'm gonna try just, just without a straw. I mean, if you can see the colors, how they mixed in together, it is quite beautiful. It does not really look like a flower. Um, and you know what else I forgot? I need to torch. So let me blow this out just a little bit and then I'm gonna get the torch. So not a whole lot of, you know, white bubbles coming up, not a whole lot of air bubbles. So, okay, so here is a close up. I really love how, you know, these colors here, they mix together. There's orange in there, it looks like, and the teal. It's really quite beautiful um, and how it gets soft up here. I really love the colors that all of these mix together to make. Um, as you can see, it's it's kind of thick paint on there. I'm not sure how it's gonna dry, um, 
but you know, not exactly what I was going for, but I actually really like it. I, I think it's beautiful and um, hopefully it dries okay. I've got very few little white cells that are popping up. I'll keep hitting it a couple times with my heat tool to try to pop any additional air bubbles since the paint does seem to be quite thick on this canvas, but hopefully it will dry um, as pretty as it is right now. All right. Thank you guys. I will catch you on the next video. Bye.